Buenos dias, bitches. Hello, hello, hello. So, for those of you who don't know, I work at a fast food joint. I've been working at a particular one for about four years now. And I'm not gonna say which one because, you know, I might get in trouble. And since I currently work there, it's, I just really don't think it's a good idea. Oh, hey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hmm. God, I love iced coffees. Yeah, so anyway. I worked at three different establishments at this fast food uh, place, uh, simply because I've just been moving around a lot. And let me tell you that some of the customers that I've met are grade A trash. Some of the stories that I tell people absolutely blow their minds. And the reason why is because some customers think that just because you work at a fast food joint, that your brain is made out of wet paper towel, and that is 100% absolutely not true. My coworkers, for the most part, have been the kindest, funniest, and nicest people I've ever met, and I always feel completely at home when I go to work. But some customers think that just because we're the bottom of the barrel workers, that they can treat us like shit, and that's super not true. And if you're one of these customers who yells at a poor 15-year-old girl until when it's her first job because you've been waiting an extra minute for your uh, burger, then I can politely say, Anyway, here are my five worst fast food customer stories. Number five. So yeah, I'm working at this undisclosed, you know, fast food place near the Vancouver area inside of a Walmart. We're in the middle of a rush when an older white male comes up to me and rolls his eyes. And he asks me, how do you clean your face with all those piercings? And then calmly I responded, well, just like everybody else does. And this man proceeded to roll his eyes and he goes, disgusting. What is with old people in hating my piercings? Later on, I'm doing garbages in lobby, and he's sitting with all of his other old male friends, and he points at me and he starts laughing, like he's some middle school teenager with his groups making fun of the new kid with braces. I was totally baffled. Not only was I amazed at this man's capability to be a childish prick, I was also thinking to myself, why though? Like, what does this dude get out of like picking fun of a young female worker's style when she's just trying to get her job done? Like, I'll be honest, I was pretty shook up after that because I was trying to resist the urge to punch his dentures out. Number four. So I'm working in a small town drive through uh, the place where you go to pay off your orders, like that little first window. A man comes through and gives me a $20 bill for a coffee and a muffin combo that comes to about two bucks. I give him his change back, and then he looks at me and goes, give me pennies. I was just like, what? If you don't know, here in Canada, we discontinued the penny. So I politely tell this man, unfortunately, I don't have pennies, and he fucking loses it. He starts screaming at me, saying that if I don't give him his penny back instead of a dime or whatever, he's never gonna come back to our establishment again. Now, I'm a bit of a sarcastic person, and I can tell you that it took every fiber of my being not to lean across the window and say, do I look like Marty McFly to you? I mean, what does he want me to do? Reel back time three years behind so that way I can go grab a handful of pennies and rain them on him like a hooker caught in a hailstorm? No, obviously not. So I just like looked at him and smiled. Well, the guy drives off, has, leaves his change and his food behind, and then he just has me in stitches at this point. I mean, I don't know how old the guy was or if he was like kind of like senile, but yelling at me over not having pennies when the government literally doesn't issue them anymore is kind of like out of the insane asylum level crazy. Number three. All right, we're getting to the really, really good stuff. Same area, small town. Uh, we're in the middle of a rush and we have our typical Karen come up to the till with her two little shit kickers in tow. The individual who was taking her order was supposed to be off about a half hour ago and she needs to jump off the till and stop taking this lady's order. So my manager tells me to hop on till and finish the order and I do so. And that's when I try to wrap my head around what the fuck is going on. The lady has like seven Happy Meals and then she's got like three adult meals on the side and a shit ton of side orders with these weird modifications that frankly just look like a bunch of gibberish. But because I just popped on till, I decided to re read her order back to her and she's completely astounded. You don't know how to take an order, dumbass. And I try to tell her, I'm just trying to get your order right, my apologies. And when I said that, she groaned really loud like an ape having an orgasm. And then she says, you're such a dumb fucking bimbo. Now, I won't forget this because I was 17 at the time and never in my entire life have I been called a, a bimbo. I was so distracted in fact that when she waved her hand in my face and almost hit my nose, I didn't even respond. I just kind of like took a step back and I was like, bitch, 
my manager had to come and finish her order for me because I was starting to get to like Titan level anger. Later that shift, I even went into the back and punched a box of sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, it fell off the shelf and I had to spend the next hour cleaning that up so that didn't help. Number two. Once again, I'm working at the small town joint and it's a night shift. I've been promoted now so I'm the most experienced one in the restaurant and out in the parking lot, I can see this guy going through people's cars with a flashlight and a crowbar. As previously stated, I'm kind of a sassy young lady so I whip the door open and walk out to the parking lot and I say, you know, get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops. That's when he turns to me, holds up the crowbar and says, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, I locked the store and I called the cops. He ended up circling the vicinity for a good couple minutes more, either trying to find another way in to beat me to death with the crowbar or just intimidate me, which is kind of working. At the time though, I will admit I was a bit more concerned for like the customers in the restaurant and my crew. Hilariously, the cops actually weren't even the ones who showed up. It was security and security ended up chasing him off and they were my knight in shining armor and they gave me a ride home, which was really sweet of them. I definitely didn't think someone was going to threaten my life at the ripe age of 18, but there I was. Number one. Last but not least, same place and it's a pretty slow day. At this establishment, we can give out refills, but only once and the coffee needs to be marked afterwards. Well, one of my newer co-workers is giving unlimited amount of refills to this homeless lady who's coming in and out of the store. The three times given a refill, sure, whatever, who cares, but once you're getting to about like your eighth cup, it's starting to be a big no-no. So this homeless lady comes up and she asks for her coffee to be refilled, but it's already pretty filled with black coffee already, so I guess she was just looking for a top up. Unfortunately, this is when I have to do my job and tell her that I'm not able to give her another refill, and everything kind of just went quiet between the two of us. She just glared at me and then in one swift moment she took her cup and she just fucking hucked it at my face and the scolding hot black coffee burnt me from my chin down to my chest. Yeah, no, for real. My manager at the time chased her through the parking lot underneath like the overpass of the bridge um, and then she disappeared and I mean that was about that. No charges can be laid because I mean, what am I gonna do? Like, take her tent? Yeah, but those are my crazy fast food customer stories. I mean, there's some pretty wacky people out there who get really angry if you don't get their order right. First world problems, eh boys? All right, if you've worked at a fast food joint before and you got any crazy stories, you can go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Bye. This is homemade. I actually like took this cup out of the trash just for this bit and then I cleaned it. Now I'm starting to think that I'm probably going to get cancer. I shouldn't be drinking that. That's bad for me.